Hello and assalamu alaikum. Ultra scan diagnostics here. This is the CBCT upper arch of um, the patient that you had requested. The area of interest is the upper right canine and the upper left first premolar region. Moving to the panoramic view, the upper left canine is grossly carious, will need to be extracted, whereas the upper left first premolar is an edentulous ridge. In the upper right, uh, we have the canine placed at a buccal. Uh, segment it is also has a periapical radiolucency it is gross calcareous if we can measure the ridge width for you it is 8 millimeters and the ridge height is approximately 15 millimeters now we have placed an ostium implant which was requested by the kind doctor on the implant surface we can clearly see that a 40 11.5 implant can be placed after immediate extraction. You will have sufficient bone for um, connection and uh, during the implant placement, um, we can see that if the implant is placed more palatally and there will be more engagement at the apical and, the, uh, and on the palatal segment, grafting will need to be done and it will need to be seen if the buccal cortical plate survives the extraction or a socket shield method can also be applied in such a case. So this is the implant on the top right quadrant moving to the top left area. Now here the problem is that the ridge is significantly thin in this region but if we are right next to the canine we can place an implant as we still have sufficient bone for implant placement. Um, the bone quality in this region is B3 as we don't have very thick cortical plates. Um, the, we have 5 mm of ridge width and approximately 10.8 millimeters of ridge height. Now the implant will have to be placed at a certain angle. Um, here we can tell you how that angulation should be. This is the implant placed for this patient. It is slightly distally. Uh, but if it is placed, then we will have sufficient bone in the center. So I will just take that out. Yeah, so then the implant can be placed well center. If I can show you the axial view in this region, in the axial view, this is where the implant will be placed, and this is where the first premolar region because we have a buccal defect here, so it will also need to be placed more palatally. But if placed at these angles, the implant will have good engagement in the bone. Um, if you have any further questions regarding this case, please feel free to reach to our team. Thank you very much.